In this problem, we're going to compute a weighted average with grade point average. And this is a classic example of a weighted average and one that you may have experienced in school. Last term, a student's grades were as indicated in the table below. Compute the student's GPA for the term. So they took a series of classes, each worth a different number of credits, and they earned different grades for each one. In terms of grade point, C's are worth two points, B's are worth three points, A's are worth four points, and then B's are worth three points. So I can compute the grade point totals by multiplying the credits for the class times the grade points received. So in this case, that would be six points for philosophy, nine for English, four for PE, and 15 for biology. And this is completely normal in a college environment. The heavier classes like biology and philosophy are usually weighted more heavily in terms of grade point than, um, for example, physical education. So if I add the number of credits here, three plus three plus one plus five, I'm gonna get 12 credits that the student took that semester. If I add their grade point totals, I get six plus nine plus four plus 15, and that would give me 34. To compute our GPA then, what we're gonna do is take the grade point total of 34, divide that by 12, and get a decimal, and let's round that to the nearest tenth. That's going to be 2.8. So the student's GPA for the semester in question, got a real S there, GPA was 2.8, which was almost a B average.